In this introduction to controls video for app forms, we're going to take a look at the content editor control. The content editor control is a control that you can add to your app forms form that will allow you to insert or embed either HTML, cascading style sheets, or custom JavaScript within your app form. By doing so, if you embed HTML, you can then turn around and actually display the HTML as part of your form. You can also add custom CSS to the control, and this will allow you to customize the style of controls that are displayed within the form. And lastly, you can also embed custom JavaScript and by doing so, you can then call that JavaScript from a rule within the forum to execute that as needed. But what we want to do is to take a quick look at the properties associated with the content editor control, how those properties will affect the control, and then we'll do a demo adding various content data to the control. Under the general section for the content editor control, you have again the control name property, which is just a unique name property for the control. You also have the content type property, which is a drop down, and that allows you to select either HTML, script, or CSS. And even though you select these, there is also the option of adding all three if you need to. <laughs> if you drop this down and you select HTML, you then have the content property, which has an ellipsis button. If you click that, it will bring up a content editor dialog where you can insert your custom HTML. Now notice with the content type set to HTML, not only do you get the HTML tab, but you also have the CSS tab and the JavaScript tab as well. So essentially by selecting HTML, you can embed both or insert both HTML, CSS, and JavaScript if needed. If you select script from the content type, when you click the ellipsis, notice you just get the JavaScript option from within the content editor dialog. Likewise, if you select CSS and click the ellipsis, you only get the CSS option. By selecting HTML, you can add all three. Otherwise, it's going to limit you to whatever the specific content type that you select. If the auto height property is checked, what this will do is it will resize the content editor control so that it fits the data that's to be displayed. And this would be beneficial when you are embedding or inserting HTML into the content editor control if you wanted to have the control automatically sized to fit that data. Under the style section, you have a width property, which controls the width of the control, a height property, which controls the height. You have a margin property, which controls the buffer around the outer edge of the control. And then you have a padding property, which controls the buffer around the inside edge of the control. You also have the option of setting a box shadow on the control if desired. The last property that's available within the style section is the visible property. This allows you to control whether or not the content editor control is going to be displayed at runtime. If the property is checked, the control will be displayed to the user. And if it's not, it will not be displayed. So those are essentially the properties of the control. Now let's actually look at a demo of setting some of the content for it. So I'm going to select HTML for my content type. I'll click the ellipsis. So the first demo we'll look at is simply adding some custom HTML. So here I have just some very simple HTML that contains a body tag, which has a custom header, a paragraph, and then we'll display some bold text. So when you add the HTML, you do have the option to click preview here to see what it looks like. So that'll give you an indication of what the HTML is gonna look like when it's hosted in the control. And now that you've applied, added whatever HTML or customized whatever HTML you want to apply, if you click okay, we now have the data within the control. And if we preview the control, 
notice that we have our HTML displayed within our content editor control embedded within the contents of our app form. Let me also show you one thing because we're going to customize this in a moment and just want to make sure we know what it looks like beforehand. So I also have a button control and a text box control. If I tab from the button into the text box, now the text box has got focus. You'll notice that you have the flashing cursor inside the text box. And if you can see it, there's a, there's a slight shading around the outer edge of the control, like a light gray outline indicating that the control has got focus. So once I click off of it, you kind of get that effect around the button and it's now been removed from the text box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some custom CSS to the content editor control, which is going to change the shading of the text box control when it receives focus. So let's add that now. So I'll click on the ellipsis for the content editor. I'm going to click on the CSS tab this time. And I'm going to add this CSS information. And so what this is going to do is this is going to set the style for the text box control, the focus of the text box control, so that when it receives focus, it's going to set the background color to yellow and with a two pixel um, outline of red around the outer edge of the control. So that's going to customize what we saw before, that when I tab into the control before, it was just a, a slight grayish border around the edge. You should note something quite different with this. So I'll click OK. Let's preview. So now note the button currently has focus. Again, it has the light gray outline around it indicating it's got focus. I want to tab to the text box control. Notice now I have the red outline around the outer edge of the text box control. And I also have a yellow background applied to the inside of the text box control. So it's, it's definitely more noticeable now that the text box control has focus than what we were seeing before. So that's one thing you can also do with the content editor control is by adding custom cascading style sheet information, you can modify the style of the controls within the form as needed. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how you can add custom JavaScript. So here I've got a JavaScript function titled underline button text. And what this, what this JavaScript is going to do is it is going to loop through all of the controls that you pass to the function as a parameter and it's going to basically set a couple of style properties. One is the text decoration. It's going to underline the text for the button control. And it's also then going to set the text align property of the button control so that in this case, the button controls text will be left aligned. So it's basically going to apply a couple of style sheet properties, which again, we, we could have probably done via the CSS but I just wanted to demonstrate from this perspective how you can also call that function from a rule and then have it apply to a control, and in this case, modify the style of one of the controls. So we'll click OK. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to invoke this JavaScript function from the button click. So I'll add an action. And, in, and to invoke the JavaScript, there's an invoke JavaScript function that you can call. It simply needs the name of the function, which in this case is underline button text. And then we need to pass the ID of the button control as a parameter. So in order to get the ID, we're going to use the get control ID function pass it the name of the control that we want to retrieve the ID for, and then that will be our parameter. So let's preview. So notice button text right now is not underlined and it's currently center aligned in the button. 
I click the button, it executes the JavaScript. The button text is now left aligned and it is also underlined. So we have executed the JavaScript that we embedded in the content editor control. So that covers the properties of the content control, the types of data that the content control supports, and then how you can insert that data and utilize that within the control. I hope that you found this video beneficial. Please view our other AppForms training videos for more in-depth tutorials regarding AppForms, as well as our how-to videos that show you how to implement various tasks within your AppForms solutions. Thank you.